Catholic, and I guess I chose to, to uh, try to attract people by our silence, or by our, not exactly, we weren't exactly silent, but we were quiet, and uh, in a sense we didn't provide any obvious content, you know, we could have been mistaken for a flash mob or a, a poor man's version of a Banana Republic commercial, you know what I mean? And uh, we, I liked being on this border between being perceived as as a real performance and not being perceived as a performance at all. So let's begin you with some facts. 50 performers, was that right? Yeah, well we had 40 odd dancers in the end. That we advertised for, so they came from all yeah, over. Yeah, dance schools and then we had a lot of groups of friends, which right. was really nice. And then you dressed them in these very sweet, tidy, and uh, very elegant little trench coats. That's right, trench coats. Well, I guess once I had made that decision and I had to fight the curator, the choreographer, and some other people that people wanted to change that by stuck to my guns. Um, so in a way, a non-costume costume. I mean, it was a costume, right. but it was so plain and basic that right. and, and I get not very urban. think it was a very, gray, you know? very feminine in a way. And uh, I guess after I made this decision, I decided to subtitle the parade, I Want to Be Alone. I don't know if you remember, or you must remember, but Greta Garbo used to live near yeah. Bloomingdale's, and she was often sighted on the street in a trench coat <laughs> with a scarf over her head. You know, and I bumped into her, you know, at least two times on the street up there, and of course it was a thrill. But you didn't want to stare because you wanted to leave her alone. And she looked, so in a sense she was a, an inspiration for that.